about six months ago, I put up a short where I showed you how you could easily fit 40 grains of 3F black powder in a 45 cold case. Now, I know to some of my regulars, you might be looking at this saying, are we still talking about this? Well, yeah, and we're gonna talk about it at least one more time. Now, in that video, which we got about a million and a half views, and for whatever reason, the algorithm has struck again, and it's pushing two million right now. But I have gotten, it's gotta be over 100, 100 comments that read something like this. Black powder is measured in volume, not weight. And different variants of that, but basically just that. I'm not sure why this is. I do have a theory. But for those of you, if anyone out there doesn't know this, black powder can and is regularly weighed. We do it all the time. And I'm not sure why people think I'm committing some heinous crime against humanity by not using one of these, but they do. Now, speaking of these, you know, these have numbers on them, right? You know, they have these numbers. See those numbers right there? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. These numbers are not based on gigawatts or centimeters or liters or pounds, they're based off of grains in weight. No way. I know, shocking, right? Black powder is made where it's compressed. And typically with 3F, the volume grains is damn close, if not spot on, to the weight grains. Now, this will vary a little bit between 1F all the way up to 4. But still, even with 1F, and I tested this last night when I was loading some 577 Snyder, is only 5 grains difference between the volume and the weight. 5 grains. That's it. So, I've shown this in other videos. I've shown it in shorts. I don't think I need to show it again. And if there is anyone who is doubting this, that's made it this far in the video, I implore you, try it sometime. Weigh out 40 grains and pour it in your measure and you'll see it's pretty much right at 40 grains, give or take a couple. So please, don't be so dramatic. For all of those people who think that I'm going to unravel the space-time continuum, by not using a volumetric measure, trust me, it's fine. We do it all the time. So let me show you. This here is Swiss 1F. I have my measure set at 50 grains. We're gonna take this here. I need two scoops. Card it off. We're going to weigh it. And it comes out to 52 grains. Now, last night, when I was loading up this 577 Snyder, I was using 100 grains, and it was coming out to 105. So, again, you'll get a variance of a couple grains depending on your F size and depending on a few other things, but is it drastically off? No, it most certainly is not. Now, personally, I believe that this particular thing is caused by these. Maybe not this particular brand, but Pyrodex, 777, Black MZ, and all of those other wretched things. Say on here, typically, as far as I know, all of them do, that you are supposed to measure these in volume. Now, personally, I think the majority of the people that have this outlook on you have to measure black powder in volume probably have only ever used substitutes like that, where it says on there that that's how you're supposed to weigh out your charges. I'm beginning to wonder if 
there's a lot of people out there that have never even used real black powder. Now, I am always very careful to distinguish between a substitute and real black powder. You will never hear me say, oh, I'm using black powder, and they say, oh, what kind? And I say, oh, Pyrodex P. Not me. But I found that a lot of other people will. They either won't tell you that they're using a Pyrodex or a substitute, they'll say black powder, or they don't really know that there's a difference. Now, why do they tell you that you're supposed to use a volumetric measure for a substitute? Simply because Pyrodex, in particular, is much lighter than black powder. It's not nearly as dense, meaning it's lighter. So the amount of volume it takes up is not going to be even close to what it weighs. Now, you still can weigh it. Hang on, hear me out. You still can weigh a substitute, but there's extra steps that you have to take. So why do you want to weigh it? Well, when you're going for a consistent load, something that's more accurate, it's just that. You can get a much more accurate charge by weighing it versus using one of these. For example, if you were to set this at 80 grains and pour it in there and tap this several times, that powder will settle in there. And then you look and go, oh, well, that's only a 70 grain charge or a 75 grain charge. I could fit more powder in there. So I understand that when you go out shooting out in the woods or out in the pasture, you're not going to bring your scale and start weighing out charges for your musket. I understand that. And trust me, I don't do that either. Typically, I only weigh charges for cartridges. Typically. But there are plenty of folks that will weigh their charges and they'll put it in a glass tube or some kind of container so they have the most accurate measurement. It's really quite that simple. So, again, if there's anyone out there that thinks I'm going to melt the frickin' Earth's core by not using a volumetric measure when I'm using real black powder, again, trust me, it's fine. So, I hope you enjoyed this public service announcement in the world of muzzle loading and black powder cartridge. And if you thought this video didn't suck, do me a favor and hit the like button and consider subscribing. And if you did think it sucked, well, then go make your own damn video.